welcome back to Sonic Central, everyone. Today, we're going to be looking at the new Golden Adventure event in Sonic Speed Simulator, which will unlock this gold-style shadow skin. It's pretty similar to unlock this, but I guess it's pretty grindy, especially the gold bars you need to collect. So there are five steps in order to unlock this thing, but there are only two different objectives, one being collect gold bars and the other one earning gold medals from the time trials. So in total, you're going to need around 6,000 gold bars, which is a ridiculous amount, to be honest. But thankfully, there are a lot in each map. I feel I say this in every one of these videos, but I just use the auto run. I'm gonna admit I am burnt out from these collectible quests and the auto run does make it a little less stressful. It's obviously gonna be a lot easier if you have the magnet as well. So yeah, auto run is your best friend here. It's what I use and will probably continue to use if these collectible quests continue. Next up is the gold medals for the time trials. You're gonna need 37 of these. This one is again a little bit repetitive, but there is at least a little more challenge to this one, but I guess it depends on how you go about it personally i just replayed time trial one in green hill over and over again because it's just so short and i guess that's my fault that it became repetitive the reason i chose this one is because you can beat this in just over 30 seconds so so i think if you can consistently get around 30 to 40 seconds in this it should probably take around half an hour to get this one done Finally, after all that grinding is done, we will unlock the gold style shadow skin, but we've also unlocked five Midas Chow and the gold shot hoverboard. I think these rewards are actually pretty good. The Chow look great. They go with the skin very nicely and the Sonic one. And so does the hoverboard. Shadow looks pretty cool too. I'm pretty sure he's got some new animations and all that stuff. So that's just a bonus really. Overall, apart from the actual rewards themselves, which are great, this event was another grindy one. I might just make these videos into shorts going forward because they are very repetitive and I feel like I'm just going to be repeating myself over and over again because a lot of the objectives and the quests are pretty much the same. Again, the rewards are great, no complaints there, but it's the actual requirements to get them which are pretty underwhelming. Although, I can imagine getting events like this out each week probably isn't as easy as it sounds, so maybe that's why they're quite repetitive. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's it from me then. Let me know what you think of this event, and I hope this guide does help. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe for more Sonic videos, and I will catch you in the next one.